Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3 Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be continuing the process of building, testing and sending our email campaign. To make sure that you can successfully send and receive your email campaign, you can perform a test send. And that's where you send it to just a few known email addresses, such as your own or a co-worker's email address. In that way, you can quickly verify that an email campaign looks good in your own email client and that spam filters don't block out your email campaign. To send a quick test of an email campaign, in EXM, open the relevant email campaign and click the Review tab. Click Send Quick Test and enter one or more email addresses in the field, and be sure to separate the email addresses with a comma. If your email message has multiple variants, you must first select the variant that you want to send in the quick test, and you'll select them over here. Now click Send and you can review your email message in your inbox. Okay, so let's just back up a little bit there. You'll have noticed that I mentioned the word variant, but that's a topic that we haven't actually covered yet. In Sitecore, it's possible to set up an A-B test for your email campaign. And we actually call these multivariate tests because you're not just limited to an A and a B version. You can actually test a C, D, E, F, G, and so on, version two. Before we dive in to show you exactly how the A-B testing functionality works, let's just take a second to talk about why we would bother setting up an A-B test in the first place. You see, the success of your email campaign is highly dependent on how well you know your customers. When you create an email campaign, you base the content and the layout of that message on assumptions. But what happens if your assumptions aren't actually that accurate? Well then, recipients might not respond to your campaign in the way that you expect them to. With A-B testing, you can test and validate your assumptions on a small group of your customers before you send the final email campaign to the rest of your mailing list. In that way, you can ensure that you always send the email campaign that statistically attracts the most customers and generates the most value for your business. When you run an A-B test, you test different variations of the same message. For each variation in the message that you want to test, you need to create a new variant of the original message. The original message is the first variant, variant A, and any new message variants that you create are named variant B, variant C, variant D, and so on. So let's go ahead and create a new variant of a message. Open the message that you want to perform an A-B test on. It's important to know that A-B tests can't actually be performed on automated messages or on simple HTML messages, plain text messages, or existing page messages. You can choose to add a new variant or duplicate the original variant and all of its content. To add a new variant on the message tab, click add variant. This creates a new message variant based on the same template as the original message, but where no content is replicated. You should choose this option if you want to test comprehensive differences between the message variations, such as larger components or the layout of the message. To duplicate the original variant, click Actions and then duplicate this variant. This creates a new variant of the original message by duplicating it and all of its content. Choose this option if you want to test minor differences between the variant, such as the subject line, images or the name of a button. The message variants are displayed on individual tabs where you can easily toggle between the variants. Now, as we said earlier, you can create as many variants of this message as you'd like, but do be aware that when you add more variants, you need a larger pool of recipients for the test results to still be clear and reliable. I would recommend testing a maximum of two or three variants. Now you can make the necessary changes to the new message variant. For example, you can change the message layout, change the images, or add new components. When you've created all the message variants for the test, click Save. After creating the message variants for the A-B test, you need to determine how you want to send the messages. To send an A-B test, open the relevant message on the Delivery tab, click the variants that you want to include in the delivery. In this example, the variants A and B are selected. In the size of the test drop-down menu, select the percentage of recipients that you want to include in this test. The set of recipients is randomly generated from the full list of recipients. Generally speaking, I'd recommend sending each variant to about 150 people, so 300 people total if you're running two variants. And the reason we do that is to make sure that the results that we get from the test are more scientifically reliable. So the figure you choose here will really depend on the size of your contact list. Under the Select Winner heading, specify how you want the winner to be chosen, and you can select one of the following options. Automatic, this is where the system selects the winning variant for you based on either best value per visit or the highest open rate. In the automatically select winner after field, specify how long you want the test to run before the winner is selected. If you click best value per visit, the winning variant is the one that generates the most value on the website per visitor. The value is calculated according to the engagement value points that are set up on your website. If you click highest open rate, 
The winning variant is the one that was opened the most often. Selecting manual will allow you to review the reports of the A-B test and select the winning variant based on your own criteria. Under scheduled delivery, select send message now to start the A-B test immediately. Schedule message delivery to schedule the delivery of the A-B test message for a later time. And here you can specify the date and time for when you want the A-B test to actually start. Schedule a recurring delivery to schedule an A-B message to send recurrently at a certain interval. You can specify the interval, the date, and the time for when you want to send the recurring A-B test. And it's important to note that when you do schedule a recurring delivery of an A-B message, a recurring message is only sent if the winner of the previous sent test message has been selected, either automatically or manually. If you want to send a notification to certain email addresses when the dispatch of the A-B test has completed, under notification, select the checkbox and enter the relevant email addresses. If you choose to have the winning variant selected and sent automatically, this notification is sent when the final message has been sent. If you want to send the message in the recipient's preferred language, click the More link and under Multi-Language, select Use Preferred Language. Then click Start A-B Test or Scheduled Test if you scheduled the A-B Test. Okay, so following all of that, the A-B Test starts and changes the status of the message to Sending. If you choose to schedule an A-B test, you can cancel the message right up until the date and time that the message is sent. And you can do that by clicking the Cancel Scheduling on the Delivery tab of the message. Okay, so let's talk about selecting and sending the winning message. You can choose to select the winning message manually or have it automatically sent out to the rest of the recipients in the recipient list. By the way, the winning message will not be sent to any of the recipients that were included in the A-B test. If you choose to have a winner selected automatically, when the specified time has passed, EXM dispatches the winning variant automatically to the rest of the recipients in the recipients list. If the result of the A-B test is split down the middle, the system automatically selects variant A as the winner and sends it to the rest of your recipient list. To select the winner manually, you should review the A-B test reports yourself and select the variant that you think is best. Make sure that you give your recipients enough time to read and react to the message. To select the A-B test winner manually, in the navigation menu under the email campaigns, click In Progress. In the list, you can see the status of the message. The messages with the Select Winner status are ready for you to select a winner. Open the message and under the Message Preview section, click the Full Message link. Click the Delivery tab and under Select Winner, you can see the results of your A-B test so far. Each variant is listed with the current statistics. The open rate, which is the percentage of recipients that have opened the message, the click rate, which is the percentage of the recipients that have clicked a link in the message, and the value, the number of engagement value points that the recipients have generated on the website after opening the message. Based on these results, determine which variant you'd like to send to the rest of the message recipients, and to do that, click Choose as Winner. Okay, that's it for this video. You've just learned how to set up an A-B test in EXM. This video was brought to you by 3Chilis, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.